One of basketball's brightest young stars is about to make his big debut, but not on the court. The NBA has entered a sponsorship deal with a 15-year-old entrepreneur. His name is Mosiah Bridges. The agreement gives his company's Mo's Bows, like that name, the right to use the NBA logos on its custom-designed bow ties. David Begno met the teen and his mama in Memphis, Tennessee, to see how his fashion sense led to some big, big bucks. Here on the historic Beale Street, birthplace of the blues, Mosiah Bridges, also known as Mo, is making a sales call. Dressed to the nines with his signature briefcase in hand, this teenage talent has arrived to showcase his latest designs with a style Mo says he inherited from his dad. What do you think when you see a well-dressed man? Well, I think that that man is about something he has a great life, he is very stylish. So Mo, your dad would get dressed, I mean, would he, I mean, was he always dressed So my well? dad will always be dressed, he would go to McDonald's in a three-piece suit. We just it's a funny story for Termika Morris, who is Mo's business manager, and his mom. I'd say, Mo, go and get dressed, and to, he would come completely dressed in a suit and tie. And in my mind, um, it was his church clothes, and it didn't make sense, but in the last minute, it's just like, all right, fine, let's go. How come yours looks like that and mine looks? Because you're, you're a new beginner. Moe's okay, bows so began now, when at the age of this, nine, this budding fashion designer wanted to make his own bow ties. In terms of training, he didn't have to go very far. I had my grandma and she helped me sew and she helped me sew my first bow tie and I'm so thankful. Her name is Helen Galloway. She stopped by during our interview. I am, I am so proud. The company started to catch on after an appearance on Shark Tank. Or Mosiah Bridges, an 11-year-old fashion designer with a handmade bow tie business. The reality show that makes or breaks new businesses. <laughs> who drives who here? I know, that's well, a I think really good question. we drive question. each other, because I'm pretty sure like every week we're like, oh, I'm ready to give up. Yeah, but, we quit, we quit all the yeah, time. Yeah, we quit all the time. Oh. In just six years, the company has surged in popularity. Mo's keen business sense even earned him a trip to the White House. He's very courageous, he's very confident. Sometimes when there's a thin line between cocky and confident, we have to shake him by the bow ties to make sure he understands the importance of it. We have all of these bow ties. Of course, we had the NBA ties. This year, Mo signed a seven-figure deal to supply bow ties to every team in the NBA. But at five foot 10 inches, the game being played at this house is how to keep him fashionably dressed. He doesn't want to spend a lot of money on these really nice shoes that I'm gonna grow out of tomorrow. And you understand that, right? Yes. He fusses, I mean, he kind of pushes back on it. And then he, and he just has expensive taste. He's always had expensive taste. My mom always taught me that it's important to give back. And I With all of its success, Moe's Bows remains a part of the Memphis community giving money to local charities. Now I'm gonna go with this one. And taking care of the customers who often drop by his house unannounced. Who makes the decision on how the money's spent? Her. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and Does your I, mama really, pay you well, Mo? She pays me well. She pays say. you well? You're a single woman <laughs> running a business that is exploding, arguably. Yeah. It's gotta feel good. It feels really good. What's even more important to me is that he's defined the odds of what a fashion designer looks like. I mean, he's been in Neiman Marcus and in uh, Bloomingdale's with all these, you know, designers who are older white men. Mo, a young African American man from Memphis, Tennessee, are doing amazing things at, at 15 years old. What has this young man taught you? He has taught me a lot about parenting, and I tell him all the all the time. I'm glad that God chose me to be his to be his mom. And if we if they were to put us all in, and I had to scramble around and pick another kid, I'd still pick you. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> While Moe's bows may bear his name, Mom Tremika is always a bow tie's length away. For CBS This Morning, David Begno, Memphis, Tennessee. Well, we I love Mom Tremika. I was just going to say, not only her. do we applaud his fashion sense, but yes. also she's a great mom. Yes. She's fostering his yes. passions. Yeah. And look what he's doing. I want to get one. Are you going to yeah, get with one? Who? I would, yeah, with who? Buffalo I do, Bills? I do want. That? I'll take a Buffalo Bills one. Yeah, sure. He's making them. Yeah. He better. And I he's hope. just getting started. That's what's so great about it, Nora. This, this Mo is just getting started. David Begno with another great story. <laughs> yes, as always. Delivers once again. <laughs>